Hi, this is uh, Craig with Quality Water Treatment, also known as Craig the Water Guy. I hope you're doing great today. Today I want to go over uh, the replacement product, Calcite Limestone. Calcite Limestone is used in pH neutralizers, also known as Calcite Filters. If you don't already have one, uh, let me tell you what Calcite pH neutralizers do and what they're used for. Uh, generally, they're installed in either uh, well water applications or surface water applications. There's a lot of wells out there and a lot of surface water where the pH balance is below 7.0. Uh, based on the pH scale, 7.0 is neutral and below 7.0 is acidic. You don't want to run acidic water through the plumbing in your home because it's highly corrosive and it will eat up your plumbing and cause leaking over a period of time. If you have galvanized plumbing, it'll cause red staining uh, from the galvanized being blood out from the acidic water. If you have copper plumbing or any sort of uh, copper or brass fittings uh, in, within your PEX system, uh, it will bleed out the copper and the brass. The copper will actually bleed out a bluish green color around your drains. Uh, of course, that is also going to cause pitting and leaking over a period of time on that plumbing. So it's very important, not just for the aspect of saving your plumbing, but for the aspect of health, drinking the water. Of course, you don't want to drink water with a lot of copper and or galvanized lead, heavy metal, stuff like that in your water. So you can eliminate all those issues by raising the pH uh, and protect your home and your investment. Um, the way the calcite filter works is you plumb it in after your pressure tank. So the water runs through the calcite filter. As soon as that water contacts the calcite media inside that tank, it'll automatically raise the pH to 7.0 to 7.1, which is at the neutral stage. It regulates itself. So once it gets neutral, it will not uh, go any higher than that. It stops dissolving. Okay. For the average family of four, for household use only, you will go through one 50-pound bag here every six months. Um, if you're irrigating with it, of course, you're going to use more. The best way to check it um, is if you have an opaque tank, meaning that uh, you could put a flashlight or some sort of light up against the tank. You can actually see the levels, the shadows inside the tank. Once the tank is 50% full, you'll take exactly one 50 pound bag, okay? Uh, but rule of thumb is, is a family of four, household use only, uh, you are gonna take one 50 pound bag every six months, okay? So uh, when you're adding the calcite, it's very easy to do. You simply uh, put your system in bypass, return the water off to it, put it into a backwash mode manually, and that will release the pressure off the tank and your plumbing. At that point, you disconnect the tank uh, by, uh, from your bypass valve, from your plumbing, pull the tank away a little bit, use your hands and unscrew the control valve from the tank. Uh, you're gonna use a small hose and uh, stick it in your tank and siphon some water out of the tank, okay? So you have room to add the calcite without overflowing water all over the place. And then inside the tank, you're going to see a distributor tube, a PVC pipe in the center of that tank. What you're going to do is use some sort of cap, um, or what I'll do in most cases is I'll use uh, tape. Uh, and I'll, I'll put a small amount of tape over the top of that distributor tube. And then I'll use a, uh, a funnel of some sort, and I'll, add, I'll set it over the top of the tank and over the top of that tube and I'll add my calcite to where I have anywhere from 10 to 12 inches of what we call free bore, which is the room between the calcite and the top of the tank. It's very important not to go more than 10 or 12 inches. You always wanna leave that room. And the reason why you wanna leave that room is because when the system goes to backwash itself automatically, it has to be able to lift that calcite up and turn it over. If you don't leave that room, then of course it won't be able to move, right? And then you have problems. So make sure you leave 10 to 12 inches. Don't add any more than that. When you're done adding your calcite, you, you basically just unplug the center tube, the distributor tube, <clears throat> clean the threads off on the tank itself with some water, take your control valve, stick it back on the tank, screw, screw it on. You only have to hand tighten it. 
hook it back to your plumbing, open your bypass valve up slowly, let the tank refill with water, and then do an automatic regeneration to let the new calcite uh, clean itself out because it will be kind of dusty and you want to get the fines out of it. It's a pretty simple process. Uh, so if you have any questions uh, or you need to find this product, you can visit our website at qualitywatertreatment.com. Note the, uh, the manufacturer of this particular calcite is Embry's. We carry, sometimes we ship other brands as well, depending on what our suppliers have, but they all do the same thing. Okay, so don't be alarmed if you get a bag of calcite that doesn't say Embry on it. It's, it's the same product, it's just different manufacturer, okay. Uh, you can also reach out to us on our toll-free number on our website or shoot us an email or use our live chat if you have any questions. Uh, thank you very much and have a great day.